So for this tutorial we're looking at using ArcScene and Google SketchUp uh, in combination to create good 3D models for, to use within your 3D GIS system. Uh, so just to start off with, we've got ArcScene running, um, creating a new scene, we'll just go with the default uh, geodatabase base and locations for now. So we start that up. First thing we want to do is loading our data. In this case, I'm using a set of footprints uh, that are just displayed below. And what you have, the footprints displayed, our curse, which is a small globe. If we click that, it allows us to navigate around the data by moving the mouse left, right, up and down. And we're able to recenter our point, zoom point by holding the control key and clicking on the map also. This can also be done using the top menus here. So the first thing we're going to do is going to extrude all of our footprints, create them into our first stage of the 3D model. Go to properties, <coughs> extrusion. In this case, we go for a standard extrusion, and we'll set it to 10. Um, as well as setting it to 10, like the alternatives are if you have an attribute in your data table, you can use this to create more of a realistic set of 3D buildings. Okay, so we've got our 3D buildings. We can have a look around again. What we'll do is have a look over at this edge here. Rolling the uh, track wheel back, we'll zoom yourself in. Let's recenter again. As you can see, we can look around all of the map. So we're going to focus on modelling these four buildings here. We'll do one of them and repeat the process. So the first thing we need to do is convert our 3D extruded footprints into multi-patch features. So we move across to our Arc Toolbox, into 3D Analyst, Conversion, and finally Layer 3D to Feature Class. With this we've got two required fields as denoted by the small green circles next to the fields. Our input feature layer is our extruded polygons. And our output feature class we'll put back into the same directory to be called extruded footprints. Okay, we don't need to include a grouping field in this case. So we'll let that run. Um, obviously you're working with a reasonable size data set at the moment so it'll take a few seconds to go. Okay so that's done. And we've got our new f our new features in a sort of whitey grey colour. We can hide, <coughs> hide the original footprint data. Uh, at this point we can't export it yet but what we can do is convert the data to a collada file which is a quite well universally accepted file transfer type which also works in Google SketchUp. So for that we'll just close off 3D Analyst. We open up our conversion tools to Collada and then multi-patch to Collada. Again two compulsory options. These are extruded footprints. Our output Collada folder uh, requires us to create a directory for all of the Collada files to be entered. <coughs> so I'd suggest putting that in the same location as your original data just for convenience. So we'll add that new folder Collada files. And we'll set that and save. Okay, we've got an error there. Whoops. To take out the space, I'll give that another go. Okay, so our collada files are now being generated. Right, they're done. <coughs> we can now go into Google SketchUp. What I suggest you do first, though, is just confirm which buildings you're modelling, what the collada file IDs are, using the identify tool. Select the first feature we're going to go for. 
number 115. Okay, we'll just remember that. So once we're in Google SketchUp, I've just started it uh, ahead just to save some time. We can import our Collada files. So if you navigate back to where you saved them, your Collada files, number 115, find that file again. We'll just let that import. Comes out with a couple of errors. Uh, do you need to worry about them? Just enter through. So now what we have is our Collada file imported. It's a big black box. Um, I'm just going to change that quite quickly. So go to the navigation tool here. Zoom out, just get familiar with the data. I tend to find the easiest thing to do first is to create the top surface as Collada files often aren't particularly square, which doesn't suit Google SketchUp. So taking a, <coughs> a rough outline of the building, isn't going to go so easily. We'll just reset our axes onto one of these corners. Okay, we'll give that another try. So we'll create one there, one there, one across here, and finally there. Allow us then to get rid of our collider file. In this case, we'll extrude it down 10 meters just to uh, make sure we get that right. Nine, ten. Same again. This isn't the easiest way to do it, to be fair. We can just allow those to match up, and that creates quite an easy way. Great, <coughs> a full 3D model. Into the extra bits. It's about the principle. So, say we want to colour this in. We go to our paint tool. The walls we go roughly. We'll say they're brick coloured. Spin that around to get the far side. Bricks again. Just make sure I haven't missed anything often happens. And we'll assume we've got a, uh, a flat roof. We'll just go for a simple tiled effect. Okay, not very exciting building, but it will serve its purpose. What I want to do next is save this 3D model. Save as. Back into the directory you're using earlier again, just keep your files together. Create a new folder called SketchUp. And what we want to do is save the building with the appropriate number so we can reference it back. And what I suggest is you use SketchUp version 5. Anything later tends to cause the program to fail. So we'll save that there. Okay, so we'll turn back to Arc Scene. If we use the 3D editor. In 3D editor, start editing on the the feature layer. What should then be able to do is select a building. In the 3D editor drop down, suggest replace with model. <coughs> and going back to our file directory, select the model and import it click off and the model has now been imported. And just to show you, we can zoom in, we can look around and it's now part of that footprint layer. I hope that's helped. If you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment and I'll try and create some follow up tutorials shortly.